Hey YouTube, thanks for watching my video on lightweight, light budget, dual sport camping video 15 in the series. And it's going off, but we're revisiting luggage because I got to show you something that I think is just awesome. So there's the XT250 with um, my saddle bags and the tank bag and all of that. I have a friend that uh, has the Suzuki DR200 dual sport. And he does a lot of ultralight backpacking. I've mentioned him before. And he had come and looked at my luggage. Those uh, Nelson Rig, Rig Gear saddlebags. Kind of looked at him and was like, huh. Well, and those run, ran me there. You can get them all the time for $125. And I looked for used. Never popped up. Never popped up. I saw them go on sale for $116. I bought them. So... He looked at him. He's like, "Oh yeah, I like how they're they're shaped in that." And he said, "Have you ever? Did you look at like bicycle saddlebags and see if you could adapt?" Them? And I'm like, "No, you know, not really." And he said, "Hey, I'm gonna check that out." So he went and looked at bike bags and came up with this luggage set here on the DR. Roswell, the Roswell bicycle saddle bags comes with the three bags. Um, he had to modify that, and I'll show you that a little bit. But comes with three bags. This top bag, and this is a great idea: the solar power battery pack, um, charging as you go. Awesome. Um, I really wish there was a con not to get off track here on the luggage, but I really wish there was one of these Solar power battery packs or solar recharging battery pack that had a jumper cable Jumper so you could jump your moto That's a thing that should be a thing And because I carry a battery with one of those jumper cables It's not so much bigger than this and they just make a combo of those that'd be a product I'd buy so Anyway, um, this Roswell bicycle saddle bag looks, uh, I think, 37 liters of capacity um, on just these two pieces. And then I don't know how big that piece is. I mean, mine are, uh, when expanded, uh, 15 aside, so 30 total. So, you know, you can see the difference. Um, bigger. He has everything. He has everything, all, everything he needs in here to camp, uh, less food, but he's got room to put food in. So, and, uh, he did have to modify it a bit. Um, so let's check that out. And I'm gonna show you what he did because it was built for a bicycle. It was more narrow. So hold on. All right. So I've undone that top bag. And you're going to see here what he did for um, a modification. So that's a nice top bag. I mean, this stuff is real real quality. And we both use dry bags to put anything in. So while this isn't uh, waterproof, everything inside is in dry bags. Um, so and this is actually, I'm like, matches perfectly. This is a camping chair. Kind of like the Slumberjack chair that I had. A little camp, camp chair. Um, so you can see he took these saddlebags and split the material right by the handle, moved them apart five inches, put in grommets with a little grommet kit, strapped it together, added this little brace from a, this brace from a piece he had from a, uh, a ladder to give it something to sit on and that's it that's it I mean really cool and the kicker here price point on sale right now walmart.com for how much hard man 33 and change 34 dollars let's call it 34 bucks I mean that free is shipping. and with free shipping also and the form factor is nice and that is just awesome so yeah he made made use of his rack for mounting and 
really clean, you know? You don't have straps hanging out anywhere. <coughs> yeah, I really don't have straps anywhere. Using this bottom strap, again, designed for a bike, so you have a strap here and on this bracket that he um, manufactured. Awesome. That's just awesome. So, yeah, I think if, if I had it do it, well, you know, my rig gear bag's 116 bucks. $34? Oh, worth a try, man. I think it turned out incredible. Really great idea. Waterproof interior. Waterproof on the inside. You know, of course, uh, rubber on the inside because it's made to go on a bike. And again, we're both using them dry bags so the maiden voyage is up and yeah kind of glad it won't be a solo mission all that and that is it oh my disclaimer which i should you i should do at the beginning but i'm no moto vlogger i don't edit videos it's one take only take sorry if i misspoke if you let me know i'll fix it in the description ask me any questions i'm always happy to answer the Dual Sport DR200 has the guest moto with the modified Roswell bags. Pretty awesome. Thanks for watching my video. And as always on XT250.com, ride safe, everybody. Hey, hey, and one note, it's, gosh, I can't, there we go. Ross Wheel. Ross Wheel's the brand of that. So, yeah, sorry for my speaking. I got corrected by uh, my riding buddy. So, there we go. Thanks again. Ride safe, everybody.